Let's go with that breaking news. I'm going to take you straight to Ukrainian television. This is what's going out on Ukrainian TV right now. In the forefront is the head of the security service of Ukraine. In the background, well, that is the journalist who it was reported 24 hours ago had been shot dead, Arkady Babchenko, believed assassinated and is making this, well, bizarre appearance in that he's alive on Ukrainian television. Uh, the uh, Ukrainian Secret Service said that uh, the prominent critic of Vladimir Putin and uh, the war correspondent Babchenko was alive and well and produced him at this, this news conference. Um, he appeared before the cameras, escorted by the Prosecutor General of Ukraine, uh, a day after, as say, Ukrainian media reported that he had been assassinated near his home in Kiev. Uh, now, uh, it would appear, according to some sources, that uh, the faking of his death was part of a special operation to catch the people who had threatened his life. And in the last 24 hours, some of his friends have confirmed that he feared for his life, and that was the reason he left Russia. Uh, Ukraine's prime minister had accused Russia of being behind his killing. Uh, and had said, I'm confident the Russian totalitarian machine did not forgive him his honesty and principled stance. Um, Russia had called for an investigation but said crimes like this had become routine for the Kiev regime. So a war of words between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, Russia saying that uh, claims that the Russia was behind his assassination were part of further evidence of anti-Russian sentiment. But as we say, and as I show you now with these live pictures, he is, and it certainly looks like him, it looks as though he's alive and well, and appearing live at this news conference in Kiev. Uh, Arkady Babchenko's wife had earlier said he'd been shot in the back as he left their apartment in the city. Uh, now, there are suggestions that uh, Babchenko has apologized to those involved in what would appear to be uh, well, a, a bizarre attempt to expose those behind threats to him. Uh, and it would appear on the face of it as though that might well include his own wife. Uh, he's apologized to those uh, who were involved in the, uh, the plot to uh, get those behind any plots behind. Well, look, they're bringing him now to his feet. He's clearly emotional. We've got uh, members of the armed forces involved as well, but he, he appears well, uh, unharmed, as we've been saying, and very much alive, and does not appear as though he's under coercion in any way to appear for this news conference. So this is just a remarkable story. He's appearing to object to something that's being said. Um, uh, it's, uh, we, we don't have a translation, I apologize for that, but uh, we thought you'd be interested to see these pictures, uh, which would suggest very much that uh, the journalist is very much alive. So that's Arkady Babchenko live on Ukrainian television, produced by the Secret Service of Ukraine, uh, and suggestions that uh, there has been a plot to unmask those behind attempts or threats to uh, his life, uh, but we are, we'll, we'll wait here. We will hear translations and uh, we'll tell you what uh, it would appear has been going on. But uh, the U Ukrainian security chief uh, has been explaining what would appear to be the most bizarre of plots which would involve uh, lying, uh, certainly to the world's media that uh, the Russian journalist Arkady Babchenko was dead and given that Arkady Babchenko's wife also said that he'd been shot in the back, it would appear she too was duped into believing he'd been killed. Plenty more on that uh, story which is breaking right now. On